This is one up indie. In this short tutorial we will do only the flying enemy, followed by the last one which is the stationary which shoots bullets. Then we will move to other parts of our game like room and level transitions, some pickups, a leveling system and finally the bosses and their special weapon drops. So let's get started right away. What do we need? Only two variables. Uh, is active to toggle flying towards the player and the flying speed. As a default, we set in the create event that the enemy is docile. That means the is active variable is therefore false and the flying speed is set to zero. We head to the step event and introduce three new inbuilt methods that will make the programming short and easy. Instance exist, distance to object and move towards point. For starters, we will make a new region for the specific type of enemy the flying one. So if the enemy type is set to flying, we are constantly checking and changing two things. Range and movement. Is there an object with the name O player? And if yes, is the player object in the aggression range? Are those two statements true? We toggle the is active to true, else to false, so it stays docile. The distance to object is returning a real number, which we compare to the aggression range. Now we want it to move towards the player. So we check if the flying enemy is active. If it is active, then we use the move towards point function, which demands an X and a Y point to fly to and how fast, which we defined in the start with fly speed. One thing we have to take into account is that the move toward point function is doing its job even when the enemy is docile slash is active variable is set to false. It will keep on flying to the last x and y position into infinity and that is really not what we want. In order to correct this we have to do a negative version of our previous if active code. We override the fly speed to zero as well move the towards point function with our new movement speed. Well. Only one thing is left to do. We head into our room and place the enemy and set the creation code to our new enemy type. In my case I want it to be the spiky thingy, so I set the image index to 6. As you can see it wobbles and hurts the player. As a side note, if you are wondering why we have to check if the player object is even there, well, you would get an error and the game would crash if you later implemented the player to be destroyed for not having any HP, because it is looking for an object which is not there then. Have a good one, till the next video.